What do you think of the RNC so far? I have to tell you, the convention has been fantastic. It's the best one I've attended, and I've been to many covering as a journalist as well. Speaking last time, but that was COVID. Um, every day has been totally spectacular. I'm really impressed with it. And just the production value. There were some good speakers, like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and Don's daughter, Kai, that stole the show. She was fantastic. And she actually asked to speak. Like, no one made her. She volunteered. Really? I was she, wondering. Yeah. She wanted to speak. She was, you know what? I want to speak. I want to be there for Grandpa. You know, all of the above, which was fantastic. And um, Was it's she just, nervous? You know, I don't. she didn't act like she was, you know. But how can you not be when you get up in front right. of all those people? And I've been doing this for years and years. And I was, like, so impressed. I mean, there was congressmen and women in the back that were nervous to go up. You know, it's a big moment. Right. Um, and it's quite a big stage in the presence, you know, when you get up there. But I spoke. Don spoke. Kai. I thought J.D. Vance was fantastic. Very relatable. But um, I'm looking forward to the president speaking tonight. Eric Trump is going to be speaking. Yeah. And Dana White also introducing the president. Um, yeah. The head of the UFC. So it's going to be really cool. I think it's been very strong. I mean, even uh, you know, the liberal media has said, wow, they're having a very good convention week. Right. Now, something I want to ask you, as one of the Trump ladies, we know that liberal media, establishment media doesn't like to talk about you and the other women of Trump world. Why is that? It's just a insecurity, jealousy. They're just you know, small minded people. They don't actually support all women, just people who share their values or ideas and beliefs. And it's just very limiting. Um, you know, obviously, all of us in the family, we work really hard. I'm hosting a Women for Trump event right now with Tiffany Trump, um, which is a great, a big fundraiser for the president, showing all the women that support him. So, you know, but we have a big tent. We welcome everybody in. So it was great to be on the stage last night. You know, I'm a working mother. I'm a proud Latina and a Catholic um, and former prosecutor. And so we all wear a lot of different hats. And that should be be celebrated. Yeah, it should. What do you what did you make of Jill Biden's Vogue cover? That was pretty recent, right? Yeah, I mean, I just, you know, I don't know. That's, look, they don't put, like, Melania Trump on there. They should have, right? We had one of the most glamorous, smart, loving, um, talented first ladies in this country's history, and they were too afraid to even celebrate her or be honest about it. So let's see if Trump get back in again, if we can change uh, their tune. Yeah, and I wanted to ask you really quickly, last thing, have you met J.D. Vance's wife, and what yes. do you think of her? She's fantastic. Another super smart woman. She's an attorney as well, like myself. Very cute loving story of how they met in Yale Law School. I thought she was very composed and really, really lovely last night. She did a very, very good job, and the relationship is fantastic. They've got great kids. Don Jr. and I are very close, you know, with J.D. Um, and his team, and so I'm really, really thrilled. It was a phenomenal pick, and I think he's going to do an exceptional job, just like he said last night, um, as Vice President of the United States. Well, thank you so much. What a pleasure. Always great to be with you. Great.